particularly, I wanted you people, I wanted this set of people to be in my class. I'm trying to bring it down for the sake of where now. How can you tell me as a science student you don't know testicles? SS3, SS3, biology, health science. What's your name? Hmm? Israel. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me say this again. This is sex education, and we are doing it within the context of the Bible. Because this is the church, isn't it? I want you to be free. I want you to be. I want you to be. I want you to be. In sex education, we are not judgmental. Some people wrote here in their paper that yes, they have had sex before. Didn't they? Did I say, oh yeah, if you are the one that writes it, stand up, we must deal with you. Did I say that? Did I say it? Miracle, there's no point lying in you here. Be free, go. Be free. Be free. I'm going to tell you some, some of my stories. I'm going to tell you some of my stories. But if you are not free, I'm not telling you. If you are not free, I'm not telling you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, why not be fantastic? First test was in the house. And there was the Because of age increase, you may not be too sensitive around the chest area, oh, around the chest area and the nipples. But for people that have, that are teenagers, so they have reached puberty age, oh, yes, sir. They, they, are, they are sensitive around that area. So we are going to classify it as also part of our male. Part of our male private. Part of our what? Private. Male private. In our country, private, I'll be private, make you look. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. It's something that is made. Oh, yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God did it in such a way that our private part are what? Because of their nature, because of their work, and because of the way God made it to be, they are private.